13 on your side's Brent Ashcroft talked to a West Michigan grower who is working hard to minimize the damage. Fruit growers are the biggest gamblers in the world. Every spring, they double down. We got a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar crop here it can be wiped out. Knowing they could lose it all. Just like that. Phil Schwalier has gambled and lost before. In 2012, we had 90% crop loss. Which is why he's extremely concerned about his apple crop as the weekend freeze approaches. We're in full pink here on 75% of the buds. The buds can take a minimum temperature of 28 degrees for a maximum of 30 minutes. Lower than that for longer. And then they start being killed. What bets is he placing? First thing we do is we mow the orchard grass short. That way the heat can be taken up by the soil, the bare soil, and that warms the orchard maybe one or two degrees. He irrigates. The micro sprinklers uh, work pretty well. Under every tree. Putting 55 degree water on the ground, so that will give us heat overnight. And fires up these fans. And frost fans is uh, probably the most important thing that we can do. And that gives us anywhere from two to five degrees raise in temperature. In the morning, Phil will come out here and clip off a few of these apple buds and bring them inside of his house and let them thaw for three or four hours. After that, he will cut them open. If they are brown inside, he knows he sustained crop damage. I would expect we will sustain some damage. He's hoping the three wagers he's placed will fend off the freeze. We want to stay warm and keep his crop in the game. This one will be an exceptionally hard freeze because it's in May, it's during bloom, but we weather with the storms and try to carry on. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.